our god is a god who is able to lead us triumphantly in every situations of our lives what helps us to move triumphantly forward is holding on to the love that god has demonstrated on the cross we have to face with certain enemies in this walk of faith one enemy the book of revelation exposes so much is the work of satan to prevent us from reaching the destiny that god want us to reach every book that deals with heavenly realms like book of daniel or book of revelation speaks about wars and battles that happens in the heavenly realms satan is today not right here in the earth he is in the heavenlies so when we try to connect to god we have to overcome the distractions the thoughts the accusations that the enemy produces and now the battle that is described in uh, this uh, portion is the climax of all the battles it is mentioned that michael the archangel and his angel fought against satan and all his angels and michael and his angels win this battle and satan is now thrown out from heaven verse 10 is the report from heaven who won the battle in heaven michael and his angels but the report of the heaven no mention of michael of any angel there but the brethren who overcame satan by the blood of the lamb and the word of the testimony willing to lay down their lives it is as if they overcoming satan on this earth had a effect in the heavenly realms causing satan to be removed from heaven daniel chapter 3 the story of shadrach meshach and abednego they were asked to worship before this statue that was prepared by this king nebuchadnezzar they resisted by the fact that we are god's people called out by the death of that passover lamb the second thing that helped them to overcome they know based on the history how god has done for his people and from their own lives how god has saved them in the past and they did not even love their lives they know their god is able to save but even if he does not save will still remain faithful to god they standing for god cause a angel to come down and rescue them every time you resist the enemy there is a work in the spiritual realms now to overcome the enemy we need to understand his schemes his day and night duty is to accuse the children of god before god in fact the word devil or satan means accuser we know what happened in the life of job satan told just touch his property and see touch his health and see what is satan accusing he is saying that look these people all will follow you if come to the real challenge they will all deny you and what disproved that is the people who stand for the lord even to the point of death and them filling the heavens and standing for god led to the ultimate removal of devil from the heaven this is what god is looking at my life and your life god is such a powerful god he had rescued the israelites from the captivity why he cannot take them in a nice way all the way up to the land of canaan every time why there is a water is not there sometimes water is there but water is bitter why god has to take through all those situations just to show that they don't love me just because i provide even if they don't have that they will still hold on to me mark for because of the word to test whether you are holding to it God will allow situations to come into our life. And uh, how did the saints overcame Satan? By the blood of the Lamb. Which means when you are going through that situation, remembering what he done on the cross, what he has done in your life, and remaining faithful to God, even at the expense of your life's comfort, you do that. Like those saints, you are conquering the enemy. You are shutting his mouth. His accusation is not only manifest before God, he accuses in your thought realms genesis chapter 3 god has done everything for adam and eve but enemy want to accuse god of withholding something from them and make them focus on that particular thing alone and make god hard person in our life how does he come and speak brother sister you must have attended to the fasting prayer but what about your job he has still not made an arrangement for your marriage he still not helped you clear this exam all the joy of the fasting prayer can just disappear god may be doing 
God has spoken to you. God is ministering to you. God has helped you in so many ways. But the accusation of Satan is in such a way that you end up focusing on that one thing that you don't have. What else he say to you? He is not allowing, but you can have it. The same way he will tell. Why not shortcuts to pass exams, to get married or you don't have to follow God's standards. Take things in your hand. We believe in a God who gave a child to Sarah at the age of 90. Abraham at the age of 100. No situation is impossible to the God that you believe in. So don't listen to the lie of Satan. You overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb. If he died for you, Will he withhold any good things? In his perfect time, he is able to do things in your life. The second way in which Satan may be attacking is Genesis chapter 4. Cain and Abel are offering sacrifices before God. Abel sacrifice, God is pleased. Cain sacrifice, God is not pleased. And now Cain is very upset. God is telling Cain why his sacrifice is not accepted. Now many times we think that all the problems in our spiritual life is because of Satan. But God told Cain, Cain, it is not Satan that is creating your problem. The problem is with you. You are lazy. You are not diligent. If you don't take that effort, you cannot progress in the ways of God. Don't put all the blames on Satan. God told Cain, you need to make some correction. You make that correction and apply and give that sacrifice. I will accept. But Cain did not listen to it. And if you are not addressing that issue, Satan can certainly use that issue. Now God warned that Satan is crouching at your door. And if you are not careful, the sin can deceive you. How Satan is deceiving Cain? It is because of Abel. God is not accepting you. And it creates envy within, hatred within Cain to the extent that he goes and murders. There is only one person who can destroy the destiny God has for you. That person is you yourself. Nobody else. Brothers plotted and schemed against Joseph, put him in a pit, sold him as a slave. Potiphar's wife put him into the prison, but God still accomplished his purpose in Joseph's life. Nobody else can affect your destiny, but if you are deceived by Satan, overcome him with the blood of the lamb. The third way in which enemy tried to deceive us is he accusing you. Zechariah chapter 3, Zechariah lived in the time when the Jerusalem was rebuilt and uh, the Jerusalem rebuilding was led by two great men of God, Zerubbabel and the high priest of that time, Joshua. Now the vision that Zechariah is seeing is this high priest is standing in presence of God and Satan is standing adjacent to him and is accusing Joshua. And he can see that this Joshua is wearing a very dirty, soiled cloth. Now this Joshua is already being used by God. One problem, you may be a man of God, but for a man under accusation is somebody God cannot fully use. The way in which our things are revealed is in the light of God's word. First John chapter 1 verse 7 When you come in the light of his presence God shows those areas up. You can still keep it in the darkness of your heart or bring it to light. When we confess those sins, he is faithful to forgive every sin. Overcome by the precious blood of Jesus. His blood is powerful to cleanse you of big sin, black sin, dark sin. Confess and ask forgiveness. The early chapters of the book of Revelation says the importance of overcome. God's desire for you is that fullness of life. The tree of life. Even for Adam and Eve, that was God's desire. But somebody came along the way. Today also, he is like a lion prowling around to see whom he can devour. Like that serpent crouching outside your door to devour you. But God's words say, resist him, overcome him by the blood of the lamb, by the word of the testimony, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Even it is putting your life at risk. And that has effect on the heavenly realms. May God enable you to overcome and be victorious and possess the fullness of life God wants you to have.